Good morning and welcome to this video about uh, transformations and then in particular about Bashir. And um, one of you asked me to help on my Facebook page actually of explainingmaths.com. Uh, so make sure you check my Facebook page too or my website explainingmaths.com where you'll find all my free resources plus you can also ask me your questions if you have any. All of this um, is for free by the way. Now let's see what's going on. This is a past paper question by the way. So all credit goes to Cambridge uh, examinations. It says the diagram in the answer space, that's this diagram, shows triangle ABC. So we have triangle ABC, and that's indeed a triangle. And they give point B apostrophe, yeah? And that apostrophe always means that is the image point, so after the transformation, with the coordinates 9, 2. 9, 2, yeah, that's correct, well done. A translation maps B onto B apostrophe, yeah? B onto its image. Write down the column vector that represents this translation. Did I say translation before? Anyway, it's a translation. A translation is moving a point um, according to a particular amount of units. And what is important is that you follow their instructions where they say a column vector. So a column vector um, with those two brackets, and then it has two numbers, a top and a bottom number, and the top number represents the horizontal translation. So how many units does it move horizontally? Well, B is at one and goes to nine, so those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So that is an eight, there we go. What about vertically? Well, it doesn't move any units up or down, so that stays a zero. And just to refresh your mind, if you would go to the left, then it is a minus, and if you go down, it will be minus, eh? and up it will be plus. But okay, eight zero is the answer. And make sure you give it as a column vector. But then, a shear in which the x-axis is the invariant, yeah? so that's the invariant line, maps triangle ABC onto its image A apostrophe, B apostrophe, C apostrophe. Yeah? And we already have one point of it, but not the other two. Okay, draw a triangle A apostrophe, B apostrophe, C apostrophe on the diagram in the answer space. Okay, that's for two points. Now, considering the x, uh, the x axis is the invariant line, that means that point A is not going to move. Yeah, nothing happens on the invariant line. So A is also A apostrophe. Make sure you label that, please. Okay, and, um, and then we're going to have a look because B moves how many units? moves eight units considering this is the invariant line then C will move also eight units but then in this direction and please I forgot to say that realize that a shear is a push so we're pushing the object in that direction this is the invariant line nothing happens here so C will go into that direction eight units so one two three four five six seven eight so it's gonna be at minus seven over there, minus seven, minus two. So I'm going to put a little dot there, C apostrophe. Now I have to draw the triangle. So um, ideally I would have prepared uh, a ruler of some kind, but I didn't. So I'm going to sketch it now, but you are going to use a ruler to do this, okay? But you have to draw the triangle, and this is gonna look horrible, but I hope you get the idea. That's the triangle over there yeah but make sure you do that with a ruler nice and neatly and you use a sharp pencil good um, we continue then the last question sh state the shear factor now what is the shear factor the shear factor is the horizontal move if you like divided by the perpendicular distance between a point and the invariant line so again the shear factor how many units it moves horizontally divided by the perpendicular distance towards the invariant line. Good, so how many units does it move horizontally? Well, eight, we already know that, so eight over. What is the distance, the perpendicular distance, how many units uh, to the invariant line? Well, that is two, so eight divided by two, the shear factor is four. I hope that was useful. Again, I do apologize for my lack of uh, preparation and I didn't have a, a ruler for you, uh, but I hope it was useful anyway. Please like and share if it was and uh, check my site, guys, explainingmaths.com. You'll find everything you need to pass your maths exams. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.